If you're doing a multi-presenter presentation, where each person has a few slides to present in an overall presentation, and you're doing it on Zoom, one of the things you want to avoid is what we see too often is people saying, next slide please, because only one person shares their screen and all the other presenters have to ask that person to advance the slides when they are presenting. Instead, use the option within Zoom to share control of your screen. That way, the other presenters can control their slides themselves. So what you've got here is I'm uh, showing that uh, presenter number one is sharing their slides. And so they'll go through their presentation, continue going through their presentation. And when they're done their slides, and they want to pass control to the next presenter. What they'll do is they'll move their cursor up to the top of their screen and have the zoom control bar drop down. They'll click on the three dots that say more and they'll select this item called remote control. And when they select that, they then are presented with the options of who do you want to give that mouse and keyboard control to. So they can select anybody in the meeting. So I'll select my second presenter here. And now that person now has the ability to control the presentation. So if I go to that particular computer here, you'll notice at the top, it says, it says you can control Dave Parity's screen. And when I click on the screen, you'll notice it now says you are controlling. So right at the top is how you know that you are now controlling it. And as you are controlling it, one of the things you need to do is to remember, you can only see what screen that presenter has shared. You can't see their notes in presenter view because it only shows you what's being shared in the meeting, of course. So what you can do instead is to have your PowerPoint presentation, the one that everybody's using, open on your screen in notes view. This allows you to see the speaking notes that you want to see and the slides. So when you want to control the slides, you simply click on the slides and you have to maybe click once or twice to make sure you have control. And then you can start going through with your arrow keys, your part of the presentation. Here's your first slide, your build on it. Then it moves to the next slide. Now, how do you move your notes? Well, what you do is you move your mouse over the notes, but don't click on them. Just use the wheel on the mouse to scroll down and it'll go to the next page. This is an important thing to not lose focus on the slides. And then you can continue to use your arrow keys to go on to your next slide. Okay, I need to go to my notes for this one. And I can continue on until I'm done my part of the slides. And when that presenter's done that, their part of the slides, what I would do is I would go up to the top of the screen here, click on the view options, and use this option that says, give up remote control. That now has returned control back to the presenter who had shared control in the first place. And they can now go and either continue on with the presentation themselves, or they could pass control to the next presenter whichever is the appropriate one for this spot in the presentation. So instead of saying next slide please over and over in a multi-presenter presentation, use the remote control capabilities of Zoom to pass control to each presenter as it's their turn and let them control their own presentation. This makes it easier to use builds and it makes it much smoother for your audience. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.